Hi there and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Now today's video is essentially a catch up video because it's been nearly three weeks since I last produced a video which of course is on the depot and viaduct project. So some of you may have been wondering what is going on and what progress has been made on this depot and viaduct project. Now it's been three weeks and basically I've done very little at all. A little bit of finishing details, a little bit of capping stone, some other little bits and pieces which I will go through but otherwise I've really actually done nothing in the last three weeks. Now a couple of reasons for that. A, my day job has ramped up a bit and I've got a few big projects on that I really need to deal with. Of course they are more important and then of course also Sarah my wife there's definitely got to be some projects in the house that need to be knocked off and the pressure was on from her to get some of these things done so sort of DIY stuff in the house that really needs to be dealt with so it was time to stop building model railways and playing trains and actually get on and do some other stuff so taking a look at just the few wee bits and pieces that I have actually worked on over the last three weeks which of course is very little but I've finished off all the capping stones now for the top of the viaduct and put in the wee support braces for the buttresses where the iron girder bridge runs over and then gone over all the laser cut capping stone components with some liquid super glue now that really helps to actually harden the card because it is just a gray mounting card and it does tend to delaminate or fluff up a little bit so one other component that i have actually begun adding now because the landforms are now in place and because the base structures around this area are now more or less complete in terms of the structural side of things is I've begun to actually add some fascia to the actual baseboard so it just begins to start tidying up the edge of the actual layout itself now this is just thin MDF that I've painted black and of course it is detachable these components so some are anchored to the removable sections of the baseboard so I thought I'd just actually reflect on the three week break that I've actually had from working on the layout and I think it's actually been quite good although it's mainly because I've had plenty of other things that I really needed to get on with I think it's also really quite good to sort of step away from time to time I do believe and I know that other YouTubers and other modelers have mentioned it is that you can get modeling burnout and that's just from simply spending too much time on your layout possibly running out of ideas or things just get too complicated and you want to chuck your tools down and walk away from it so I've gone back and looked over this depot and viaduct project which began at the beginning of December and then the last video in the series came out at the beginning of February so essentially that was a solid two month block on this project of nine videos that were actually put out which basically averaged a video a week so I really did throw everything at this project in terms of my time and I actually did feel at the end of the last video beginning of February it was time to step back take a break and actually just do some other stuff do some DIY around the house and also get into some of my daytime work so it does make me realize that you can actually suffer a bit of burnout from too much modeling 
and looking back obviously at this project over the last two months there was actually quite a bit of work in it if I go back to the bare baseboard structure that used to be there and all the elements and components and thought processes and design and construction that went into it it was actually quite a lot in it so apart from the viaduct itself and all the laser cutting and then of course the new tunnel portals there was also this very large lift out section then of course there was the depot area and then the raising of track via an incline up to this area then there was the current or existing section of baseboard that was ripped out and redone in order to meet this incline there was a lot involved in this project and when i think about it now i realize actually how much i managed to achieve in that two month period now the opportunity was there of course because here in new zealand december january tends to be our holiday period for the year and of course a lot of businesses closed down over December and beginning of January so projects were light on the work front which enabled me to actually really spend a bit of time on the layout in the garage so the transformation of this particular area of the layouts have been quite significant and winding it right back to when there was actually nothing there there was just the two layers of track circling around and of course the big access hole in the middle so it's certainly come a long way and of course it brings me to another thought as well is often when you're doing large projects on your layout you possibly might tend to not run trains and it's been a long time since I've run any trains on the layout apart from some short movements of course where I've laid the new track in the depot area so I tend to be one of those modelers that probably gets more enjoyment out of the building constructing side of railway modeling and possibly less with actually running trains but in saying that I do thoroughly enjoy running the trains as well I think possibly running trains in areas of the layout where there has been no scenery added where it's basically track on a piece of wood it probably just doesn't feel that inspiring so now that this area of the layout has got the base structures of scenery completed I think when I get to run some trains around this area it's going to be a little bit more thrilling and a little bit more exciting than what was there before so speaking of that and of course of running trains this is what I hope to do in my next video is get the track all nicely cleaned up and get some trains running around this particular area and just getting a sense and a feel for how it's going to look once of course things like all the scenery grasses shrubs foliage and all of that kind of stuff is added
so as you saw from the footage like I said there's been an awful lot actually involved in this project and as I mentioned in the next video I really do want to get some trains running so I can actually sense how this whole area is looking now one of the other things that I am going to get on with and include in the next video of course is getting some weathering done on the actual viaduct structure itself because I think that's really the next step to do there so hopefully over the coming weeks I'll have a little bit more time to spend on the layout and continue on with the depot and viaduct area so one other aspect too that I will no doubt cover in the next video of course is a little bit of a milestone for the station road channel and just recently I ticked over to 10,000 subscribers so that is absolutely incredible I'm rather blown away by that now I really never intended this channel to be about that because it really is about the layout and being able to share ideas with you guys about my methods of modeling and hopefully giving you some inspiration for of course your own layouts so to reach that 10k mark is really quite extraordinary and interestingly of the 10k that equates to roughly 25 30 percent of the actual viewers on this channel so you could multiply that by four and that would be a true estimation of the viewership for this channel so for all of those who have subscribed and helped me in reaching this milestone I'd just like to say a huge and enormous thank you for your support for this channel and also for everyone who's left their comments and feedback it's just wonderful absolutely fantastic stuff so on that note I uh, wish everyone well do take care look after yourselves of course don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time bye for now